that's all you, the only reason you can like that because you're an idiot. As luck would have it, one of America's two most powerful villains of the next decade is turned loose to strike terror into the hearts of men. <laughs> To shock women into uncontrolled hysteria. Don't touch that! The villains themselves were ultimately responsible for much of the popularity. Audiences love to hate. So, you know, a, a, an additional part of Jason Rico's comment was about, you know, we mentioned that we love Man of Steel as one of yeah. our favorite movies. It's, I really enjoy Man it's of Steel. An <laughs> we, we do consider it an amazing movie, and we're not going to force that down anyone's throat. But what Jason Rigo said was, uh, I don't think Man of Steel was an amazing movie. It was lacking a lot of the camp and the humor from what, you know, what we do remember of the older Superman movies. Yes. The Christopher Reeve movies. Uh, the uh, Yeah, all 20 of those Sup movies. So yeah, Superman saw, Returns. We yeah, we've seen those. Um, but that's just it. We've seen those movies. Right. And in all of those movies, he, he, he punches very little. And when, when I read a Superman comic book... When I turn on anything Superman, I want to see Superman mess some people up. Yeah. You know, that's what's... He's, he's the strongest man in the world. He can fly. He's fast. He has laser vision. Um, I want to see him use those powers to the full extent. And the only time we've seen that happen, honestly, in my opinion, is Man of Steel. My, my, this is my opinion of, on Man of Steel. It's by, far, it's by far the best Superman movie that exists. I don't see... I mean, yeah, maybe nostalgia might keep you attached to, like, the first Superman movie. Agreed. I do um, like those four movies. But, like, you know, I went back and watched all four Supermans right before I watched Man of Steel. Mm -hmm. um, and I watched them after. I watched them maybe, like, three months ago. I watched all four Superman movies. Um, three and four are awful. When I watched Superman 1, it... it Starts off brilliant. I mean, the beginning is amazing. Everything on Krypton, his journey to Krypton, that, you know, the, the 30 minutes of opening credits with the trails on the yeah. thing is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, soon as Superman grows up, there's a scene right when he uh, finally gets his Superman suit from the North Pole. Um, Santa gave it to him. And he flies away, and then it cuts to Metropolis. Right. From that cut to Metropolis on... That movie Garbage. sucks. Terrible. That movie is a love story between him and Margot Kidder. Oh my gosh, she's so hideous. Superman has the option of any right. beautiful woman on Earth. Any any woman on Earth. She's she's out. Oh, yeah. It's it's got awful. And those 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 movies held their own at that time. They did. They did, they did really great. Their, their own um, and Especially part two. I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and I, I loved part two. Part two was good. Um, it had, it had, that's when we first are introduced to Zod in the live action yeah. first, and we actually get to see Superman fight people his strength. Yeah. And to me, that's what um, that's what Superman Returns really lacked. And we're I'm gonna compare oh. Man of Steel to Superman Returns because those are the two closest yes. together. And, and, um, and I'm gonna jump in right yeah, real quick. Yeah. Superman Returns is the Batman and Robin of the Superman franchise, if you ask me. Maybe not quite as bad as I, Batman I, and Robin. I, I would but... say Batman and Forever. I would say it's the Batman, Batman Forever. Batman Okay. Because it's there are parts that are good. Semi-tolerable. Yeah. There are parts <laughs> that I like because of nostalgia. You know, like yeah. there are parts that remind me of Christopher Reeve and, you know, and, and that, you know, that there is a legend to that. There is a, a, a certain bit of awesomeness to those. But his main villain was Lex Luthor. The same Lex Luthor that we've seen in the previous incarnations right. is the same kind of character. He's a used car salesman type of guy who his big scheme in life is real estate. <laughs> why? <laughs> like, I, I, it, it, why waste a Superman movie it on sucks. a real estate scam? It just makes me so, so mad that they did that. Um, let's see Super... Like, I want... I was like, oh, I think they're gonna throw in Doomsday or something. You know, like, they say Lex Luthor's They're gonna the try guy. this time. <laughs> yeah, but, but it was just really bad, um, in my opinion, in terms of, like, ex of expectation. Yeah. It, it did not meet my expectation, but when I saw Man of Steel... Before I saw Man of Steel, I saw a lot of reviews, and yeah. it was all hate. Yeah. Then I saw it, and I was just so happy. This is Earth One. This is this is the Earth comic One book. Yes. I it, just just to sum up my thoughts on it, it's, I finally was able to take Superman seriously with Man of Steel. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about it. Agreed. Um, if I want to watch a cheesy, campy version, I'll watch the last hundred freaking years of Superman crap. Yeah. 
Um, I never, you, you know, maybe then that's part of the problem is like, I was never really into Superman. Right. Like, I was into Superman movies. And that's honestly what got uh, me into Batman, too. Right. Yeah. It was like yeah. the movies. I'm, the I'm movies. a movie guy. I love my movies. Yeah. I love video games. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, you know, I, I read a lot of comics, but to me, you, you know, most people are like, oh, they didn't do it like the comics. They didn't do it like the comics or whatever. Right. But to me, it's like, I don't care. As long as they do it well. How come this comic isn't as good as the movie? Yes. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, that's a good um, point. And it's, I guess, uh, I've heard that from not just, you know, Jason Rico in the comments about, like, Man of Steel. Like, oh, it's not fun anymore. That's what it boils down to. It's not yeah. fun. How can you say that? He, I mean, there's It depends so what you fun. find fun. And yeah. what they mean by fun is, like, it's not... There's no there's jokes. There's no jokes. It's not funny. There's no... They, yeah. they, they take themselves way too seriously. But that's yeah. what I want. And I mm -hmm. think... If he would have done another campy version, it would have came out stupid. Oh, it would have it would have failed. Would have been I'm gonna throw that out right now. Dumped. It would have failed. If they had done anything close to what they did with Superman Returns, it would have failed. Yeah. Um, Man of Steel didn't fail. For for anyone who says Man of Steel was a bad movie, I I challenge you to look at the numbers. Um, it did very well box office wise. Yeah, you could you could blame that on hype, but I would also say that the hype was that it sucked, and yet still people went and saw it. Oh, yeah, yeah, and they're making so, a sequel. That's that's the they're end making of the line they're right making there. a sequel. This Superman we will see in Batman versus Superman. Uh, we will see this Superman in Justice League, and Zack Snyder is going to direct the Justice League. So whatever you know, whatever people are saying that you know that Man of Steel was bad, it, obviously it wasn't. Right. Um, I loved it. You know, I again, I stand by the fact that I, you know, when we said it's an awesome movie, I stand by that because I'm not saying, oh, it's an awesome Superman movie. I'm saying it's an awesome movie. Period. Um, yeah. Just period. You know, there, you know, it. I get, I get that it, you know, that, that, that there are some hardcore comic book fans who probably didn't like certain things, and that's fine. But I'm not, you know, like you said, I'm not a huge Superman fan. This made me. Break right. into Superman. This, this put it this Man way. of Steel is in my top five favorite movies. Oh, and wow. I'm nice. more of a Batman fan, but I, you know, I, I do have to say that it's a great movie. The effects are wonderful. People said that they're very, very video gamey. Look, I've played a lot of video. I challenge games. you to make better, a better. I challenge you to write a better script mm -hmm. and try to get it approved by by the people that know what sells. I mean, mm -hmm. they know what sells, and I know it shouldn't all it shouldn't always be about sell. But when you're making a hundred million dollar movie, right. you need to make two hundred million dollars yeah. so they can make Man of Steel too, yeah. or, or whatever. And that brings <laughs> us to the Villains of YouTube video challenge for you guys this week. The challenge is is if any of the movies that we talk about in this episode, if you think that they suck, then we challenge you to make a better one minute clip. Link it in the comments, and it, don't don't be a smartass. Don't don't. You know, don't or take be a, a smart ass. We'll just don't, rip it apart because you don't know what you're doing. Obviously, don't take a video of your poop and say this is better than Man of Steel. No, be legitimate. Make a better one minute clip, and we'll tell you if it's better or not. Right. Or we'll 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 have the community judge this because you know we're a little biased. We do like Man of Steel a lot. Right. But that's our challenge to you. If you think you can make a better one minute clip, do it. We'll we'll watch it totally. Um, yeah. and we'll spread the love. But uh, all right, let's move on. You know the. Thank you, Jason Riggle, for sending the comments. And Thank please, you. please keep commenting. And other people, please comment. You know, that's what this show's about. We're going to rip up the comments, but it's for fun. We're, we have yeah. nothing better to do. We love your hate, because if you were just agreed, like, Man of Steel's wonderful, we well, have we, nothing to talk we'd about. We have nothing to we talk about. We have nothing about. to talk about, no, right? that'd get boring. It'd be a very <laughs> boring show. So, no, argue with us. We're all about that. But like we said, it's our opinions. It's your opinions. We're not going to hate on you because it's your opinion. If you didn't like Man of Steel, fine. It just means you have no taste. 